Hey guys, here's another do it yourself. Stay tuned. time so I had this Louis Vuitton Alma years ago and decided to sell it and then I wanted another one so I start looking on Poshmark and I'm like wait is this what we doing is this how we do things but they were charging like five six hundred dollars so guess what I did guys I went on Trazy and I used my credits you guys should sign up so you can get credits too and only had to pay $2.90 after all of the credits I had for another Alma so this is it it is almost in perfect condition. The owner shined up the brass and everything for me. The pachetta is not that bad. There's some stains on it, but we're going to cover them up anyway, right? And we're going to turn it into this beauty. Okay, so let's go. So like I said, the owner shined the brass up for me, but if you need to, just get some brass oil and use a Q-tip. So I'm stuffing mine with t-shirts, which I should have used bubble wrap because this made it very heavy and very hard to manage while I was painting it. So just don't be like platinum guys. Use bubble wrap, okay? So just stuff the purse to make it easier to paint. So there you have it right there. So let's move into what we're going to do to this baby. It's in pretty good condition, but we're going to make it pop pop. So this is painter's tape cover everything monogram which means everything the LV is on a lot of people just cover certain spots no I'm covering everything because if I make a mistake and drop that paint or something I don't want it to get on the monogram so I cover everything and guess what I didn't do y'all like that I'm about to show you how I did that right now on the other side so let's just flip it and let's get to work so the first step is I can use my nails but get some very small scissors or tweezers or something like that and loosen this up a little bit because you want the tape to go under there so it don't seep through to your monogram. That's very important. Don't cut the thread, don't tear it up, just lift it a little bit so that you can put the tape right up under there a little bit. You can like tuck it and you'll see what I'm saying. And at this point, you just cover all of the rest of the purse with the tape. All right, guys, so this is what it should look like. You want everything covered except the vachetta. And guess what? They even have a vachetta paint if you want to just paint it this like tan. What color is that? Um, Brownish tan color. Yeah, they even have that. So this paint came from a company called Angelus, I want to say. Something like that. Everything will be below. Always read the description box. Everything you need comes in this kit, guys. Please click the link below. Do not try to go the cheap route. Do not try to go the Amazon route. Everything will be in this kit and it is $35 with shipping. I want to say $37. So you get to pick three paints. You can switch the colors. You can make them all the same. So I picked three different shades of purple because I wanted to see them all in person because I didn't know which one I was going to go with. So that's violet. And then I picked magenta, which is more like a pinky purple. No, I don't think it's magenta. I think it's mauve. I think it's mauve and I, it's not showing. Dang it. But yeah, I'm almost sure it's mauve, okay? So I had to decide. So I went with violet. So the first thing you want to do is clean the leather, which you should have done before. But just get you a old towel and put it on there. What I was saying is I should have done this before I taped it, but it's still going to work out. So yeah, you're just going to clean it. To make sure there's not any residue or anything on the purse um so yeah the paint will stick and the paint won't be blotchy and you know little hair follicles and stuff won't be stuck in the paint 
So clean off the, the cheddar. So the next step is we're gonna strip all the polish off of the vachetta, the shiny coat that Louis Vuitton adds. But you have to make sure you have some gloves and get a whole different towel. Um, because this is like acetone and you see how it made it dull? It's gonna take all of that shiny stuff off of there. And it has like a, a peeling agency in it. I, it smells just like acetone, guys. Um, that side is already done. We're gonna work on this side. So yeah, make sure you put on gloves for this. Okay guys, so now we're ready to paint. I'm gonna take the medium brush. Please make sure you have a jar of water to clean your brush with. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take the violet paint. And this is a tedious process. You can't just whoop the doop and think you're gonna be done. You're gonna have to do three steps. You're gonna have to seal it and everything. This could take a day or two, okay? So just go in with your first coat. You're gonna paint the whole entire bag. Paint it however you want. It dries pretty quick. Make sure you do a thin coat so that it will dry quick because you're going to need to flip it and paint it on other sides. So you need the opposite side to be dry. So when you flip it to paint the other side, it's not still sticky. So take your time with this and just paint away. Right, so this is what you will have after one coat. You're gonna see a lot of blotchiness. And I think that really depends on the color of the paint too because I've watched other people and you know, one coat looked really good but with this color, it's kind of blotchy. So we're about to go in with the second coat. So let's just go ahead and paint, paint, paint. Okay, it's that simple. You don't have to be super neat. The tape is there to protect you and you can get it done. So I'm going to show you a little bit more um, of how I did this side right here. I mean this coat, this second coat, and I'm just going to let it play. So now I am switching over to a smaller brush. This will help you get in all of those little dents and the little spots like the handle. Um, I am going to have to go back over my handles in a couple more spots at a later date. Um, but yeah, as for right now, this is how I did it with the smaller brush. I did go over the metal part just a little bit, but don't panic if you do that because at the end I will show you how to get the paint off the hardware. Um, try not to get paint on it, but if you do, there is a way you can remove it. So right here I'm showing you guys that you can leave a little gap right there if you're scared that when you put that back on the tape it's going to mess it up. Um, but yeah, I think the handles are like the hardest part to do and the bottom. Um, some people wait to do the bottom last but still, you know, it's still hard. So I have this fan I got from Amazon I will link below. I feel like this will help me in speeding up the process. And so I'm going in with my third coat and what I'm going to do is just 
blow it with the fan to make it dry faster so that I don't have to worry about messing anything up. I haven't messed anything up yet, um, but I just think this helps because in between every coat, I forgot to mention this, you have to let it dry 15 minutes before you start on the second or the third coat. So please remember that. So next we're gonna go in with the high gloss acrylic finisher. Now a lot of people don't like theirs gloss, so you can get one that doesn't have a gloss to it. I guess it would be the matte one. Shake everything up before you start using it, even the paint. And you're just gonna put a thin layer of this on it to seal it and bring that shine back to it. Alright, now that we're nice and shiny, we're going to go back in with the, I forgot what it was called, but it's the stuff that I said smelled like acetone and a Q-tip. I wish I had the cosmetic Q-tips with the thin nose because it did wipe some of the paint off. But like I said earlier, I'm going to go back in and fill some of the spots at a later date. But yeah, you're going to get all that paint off with that. And look at this baby. It's shiny, it's glossy, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, when I go back in and fill those spots, if I do it, it's not that much of a big deal. If I was like selling it or something like that, I probably would, but it's not that much of a big deal to me. So we're just going to take the tape off and make sure we didn't get any of the paint on the canvas. And it looks so gorgeous. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I decided to do this on my own. It was no more than the purse was $2.90 and the paint was $30. And I was going to pay $6. $700 almost on Poshmark um, for one. But yeah, I added a Louis Vuitton keychain that was gifted to me by one of you guys. So I don't know the name of it. It goes perfect with it. It's pink, purple, gold, and it's just gorgeous. If you guys want more do-it-yourself, thumbs up. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.